we've arrived at Rowellen Park, which is a scout camp, mountain bike, track um, camp at Mackay. And we've pulled up. Um, we had no idea where we could camp, so we kind of just picked a spot. Hopefully it's okay. And they don't come and ask us to move later. Um, unhitched, leveled, and Daniel and Ari have already gone out for a ride. This is our view, overlooking the dam, and um, yeah, Daniel's back, he's now going to set up the awning so we can get some shade, but we're in full sun to try and get some solar to charge those batteries right up, um, and because we've been in shade for the last couple of days at the beach, um, so yes, we'll get some sun and get these batteries charged up. Ten times better now. <laughs> yeah, looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to a bit of Mackay actually. There's a few things I'd like to check out while we're here. And we'll see how long we stay. What are you trying to do, Aria? I'm trying to get out my bike this way. I can't. Yeah, it's too steep for you, isn't it? Oh, you got there. And now what are you going to do? Right. Right down to the right where I told you to? No. Yes. Yes, Aria. drive half an hour south of Mackay which, um, and it's the Serena Sugar Shed. I don't actually know if we can do anything other than a tour. We haven't booked a tour because I don't know, you know, we just rock up at these things or we're winging it. Um, so we're going to come and see what it's here. But there's an information centre, a museum, a playground, toilets, art gallery, lots of different things here. So we'll have a sticky big round. <laughs> we missed the tour and the next one's not for like another hour and a half and we're not going to hang around that long. Um, so we just so had we just a quick... spent a bunch of money in the shop instead. Yeah. <laughs> On our goal and treats. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So we ended up with fairy floss and ice cream and... Lemon lime cello. Lime cello and chutney lots and... Schnapps. A lots and chicken. Lots and lots and lots. So, um... We'll see how it goes. <laughs> That's all we've got really. We just spent a heap of money on buying stuff. And um, yeah, <laughs> we'll have to let you know how it tastes. All the stuff we did buy was made here. Um, there are some other local made things in the area that you can choose to buy, but we bought all the stuff that's mo made at the Sugar Shack. Dinner. I'm trying something different. 
something I've never made before, but my mum used to make. Yeah, you know, I haven't bothered googling the recipe, I'm just making it up. <laughs> it is unappealing at the moment. Uh, it's apricot chicken, and so basically I've just cut up two chicken breasts, foil line tray, I've put in onion, I've put in potato, um, cut up chicken breast, and probably like ha uh, half a tin of apricots, and then you get French onion soup, the really cheap stuff, and you just um, pour it over the top, and then pour the nectar over the top as well, and then put it in the oven. Well, in our case, we're going to barbecue it. I'm going to put it on the barbecue. Let's give it a go. Probably could have used some more finesse there, but uh, let's just give it a go and see how it goes. <laughs> it's been an hour and a bit, and it's kind of cooked. What it's meant to look like, the French onion soup on the top gets like a crust, it's like a salty crust on the chicken, and it works perfectly with the um, apricots. The sweetness of the apricots. Give this one a go. What are you doing? Are you making shadows? Are you making shadows? Yes. Show me. <laughs> Aria, what is it? Can you show me the sign? What does it say? K A W K. It says. T-A-W-K, you're right. Talk. And that stands for Travelling Australia with Kids. Are you a kid? Yeah. Are we Travelling Australia? Yeah. So we're Travelling Australia with Kid. So now we're talking. We've had a really, really nice day here. Um, however, not all things are wonderful on the road. And our power system is not quite working right. So we are going to go to a farm stay and hook up to a powered site there for a couple of days to try and get the heat sorted and take the pressure off. I've got some washing and stuff I need to do, so take the pressure off um, on a farm stay powered site, which is not common, but yeah. Hey guys, we've just come out to Jarravale Farms Day, which is actually an alpaca farm, and they also have a miniature animal farm animals as well. Um, it's a working cane farm as well, so if you time it right, you might see some of that stuff happening. And um, as soon as we drove in, we are um, in love. <laughs> so powered sites here, four of those. We've got one of them. Um, $35 a night for us, two adults, one child, and um, there are there is an unpowered section as well. Fire's allowed, 
here as well. Um, they've got lots and lots of different farm animals you can help with feeding morning and afternoon if you like. And they walk you through everything. You can pat them all. You can, oh, it's amazing. Um, we can't wait to get started and get into it. There's a billabong where there's apparently platypus and turtles as well. So can't wait to go and check those out. Um, camp kitchens if you need them. Um, there's toilets and shower. There is no dump point, but there's one in, in Miriam, 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 not far away as well, five minutes. It's a, this farm stays about 25 minutes from Mackay. So it's not far to go and check out the area as well. And the, um, the caretakers that are here at the moment have been so lovely so far um, getting us settled and um, we can't wait to go out and explore. So in, enjoy this part, um, something a little different. I will mention as well, this is pets by negotiation, I believe. So um, you'll have to, if you have pets, you'll have to suss that out a bit. Um, anyway, so much to see and do, let's get going. I am in love. Sorry Amanda, I've got a new one. <laughs> this is a uh, nice over ice lime cello from the Serena Sugar Shed and it is ridiculously nice. It is so good. It's like sweet and limey. It's like a lime and sugar syrup mix that's alcoholic as well. So I've been having it, um, this is on my second in about 10 minutes. It's, um, I'm just having it with some extra fresh lime juice and a big ice cube and some soda water and it's amazing. It's so good. Get on it. We've got a guest for dinner yep. tonight. His name is Ollie. He likes to eat fish. Unfortunately we don't serve fish. But I'm sure he'd eat some chicken. I gave him some earlier. That's why he's hanging out with us because Daniel gave him chicken earlier. Anyway, sharing a chair with Aranga so it doesn't take up any extra space. <laughs> Has reasonable table manners, except jumps up on the table. Yeah, he's a good mannered cat. Uh, until you wanted him off the table and he wouldn't go. He's a dirty cat. <laughs> oh, he's, okay. he's eyeing off the food. Just come up 
to the billabong and to spot the platypus. So we came up last night and um, we saw it a few times but we've come up a bit earlier today and it's just constantly swimming around. I'm assuming there's more than one but there's just at the moment one I think that I see keep coming up and down um, which is so cool. So you have to be really quiet though because I notice when Aria is a bit louder it doesn't come up for a little while so um, I'll try and put the footage in it is a fair bit away I'll try and put a circle around it or something for you to see but yay to see him platypus that's so cool Hey, we just had an awesome stay at Jarravale. Um, yeah, it's really cool. The guys here are so friendly and um, lots of animals and some sugar cane and yeah, lots of alpacas and baby goats Ari got to pat. <laughs> yeah, Ari, did you have fun here? Show me. Did you have fun? Mm. Do you like all the farm animals? Yeah. <laughs> All right, we've moved ourselves to the park, Mackay, uh, because Aria and I have to could do a quick, like 48 hour flight home um, to Newcastle. So um, we want to be close to the airport and Daniel wanted to be in town. So there's like things that are closer for him to do. Um, so we've just moved there. It's like $35 a night. It's really basic facilities, like a pool and that's about it. Um, however, a bit nice big sites and nice and close to town um so that's what's happening well for a few nights um and daniel will be um surviving on his own for a couple of nights <laughs> uh this afternoon though it's, uh, we are heading to the uh, free blue water lagoon in town at Mackay uh, for something fun this afternoon
afternoon we've decided to do a drive around the northern beaches of Mackay. So we've driven all the way to the top, topish one, uh, Shoal Point, and we're going to work our way down and just cruise around the beaches. So Shoal Point here. Um, it appears to be dog friendly and you can drive on to let your boat um, off if you have a boat and yeah it appears to be dog friendly there's lots of dogs around running around as well so it's really nice um, definitely come at high tide if you can um, otherwise it's a fair walk out to the water what do you think amanda it's a nice little beach a bit rocky but nice yeah Yeah, this amazing little bug. If you know what it is, let me know because it's beautiful. So many colors. We're trying something a little different for dinner tonight. We've heard really good things about these Marion's Kitchens. Um, that's gonna move backwards for you guys. <laughs> um, things and I like cheap and cashew. So, we've given one a whirl. It's um, basically add chicken and some veggies and an onion, and you're done. So there you go. Now it's the right way. So I've got some broccolini, some zucchini, the onion, carrot, chicken to chop up. Arian's toasting the cashews, which look almost ready. So we'll chuck the onion in. We'll chuck the onion in to brown. I'll quickly do the chicken, toss that in, toss the veggies in, toss the sauce in. Rice is on cooking. Dinner's done, hopefully. Hello, I'm cooking. Dinner. Yeah. Do you want to add any more to that? <laughs> yeah, and it's going to be a bit high on this. And just check it. And so, this bit needs to. Don't do that. Please. Don't, please. It's a bit big. I don't mind. Hurry up. Not the best presentation, but there's the finished product. What do you think, Aria? Nice or not? The sauce is not nice. It's so chilly. There's no chilli in there, though. Right, the, the sauce is tastes like chilli. Doesn't it? Yeah. Hmm. Okay. How about I wait for Dad to try it before we get the real verdict, then? <laughs> for a verdict on chilli, I... Another person. No, and just how it is, because she <laughs> thinks it's chilli when there's no chilli in it, so... Nice. Oh, there is a little bit of chilli in there. Is there really? Just a touch. Oh. Whoops. Good morning. Okay. No, you said that was the last one. No, oh, this is the. I changed my mind. These are the two last pages. Okay. Hey, hey. Hello. 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 We are truckless in Mackay. Yes. We um, we were meant to leave 
yeah. and we were quickly getting an inspection done for the um, Rego. Rego and I turned the truck on and there was fuel spraying out of a fuel line everywhere <laughs> on the ground so <laughs> all of a sudden <laughs> quickly took it around to a mechanic and they've had to order a new fuel line and then they also are repairing a brake line and then they're also found that a, a bush, bush suspension bush or something so, so it's sitting there until it's all fixed and then we'll leave. <laughs> yeah, so we're staying in Mackay longer than planned. So you get to see more of Mackay. <laughs> These things happen. This happen. So yeah, it's part of it. Yeah. It's part of it. We've come to for a ride. I rode the Surin and Amanda rode the mountain bike with Aria. Mm -hmm. Uh, down to the Botanic Gardens. Yeah, which and is only about, an what, what was it, like 25 Ooh, minutes or something ride right for me? Yeah, it was probably 20 minute ride. 20 minutes. Yeah. So yeah, we'll show you around the Botanic Gardens. <laughs> We're in the tropical shade garden at the moment. They're pretty awesome. It's pretty nice. Of course, we found the playground. There's two anyway. Two playgrounds. This one's at the north end, and then there's a south end one. So Aria's having a little play. afternoon's <laughs> random activity. Because you know, Mackay and <laughs> car travels. We've ridden to go-karts to have a go. So Why I'm, not? I'm already exhausted from riding the park. <laughs> <laughs> we think maybe tomorrow we'll do some 10 pin bowling or something. We'll see how we'll we see. go. We'll see what's close. <laughs> All right. Anyway, let's go do some go-karting. Go <laughs> Was that fun, Aria? What did we do? And who was better, Mum or Dad? <laughs> we have the truck back. Yay! Um, ended up with a few extra little things fixed and tidied up. Um, but they were awesome. BDS, I think it was, mechanical. Um, as soon as they got the parts, they put it in and got it sorted and got it got us back on the road and we appreciate that, especially when we are wanting to move on um, and trying to make our next booking in time and not miss out on too much, but still be flexible. Um, so we're just gonna, we've just done a couple of little jobs, to grocery top up, um, had to post a letter, um, grab a script from the chemist, do all those little jobs before we head a bit um, more off grid for a few days. Um, and away from a caravan park. <laughs> um, hopefully if the script doesn't take too long, which Daniel's doing now, we'll be able to quickly head out and have a look um, at the lookout and water tower here in Mackay um, before the sun goes down. And um, we're gonna head out for dinner. We've had the marina's nice. Um, so we will go and have a look there. And we're just gonna do a quick Google and see what's there for options. But we're treating ourselves um, because we're going to be cooking breakfast, lunch and dinner for the next few days while we're off grid. So we're treating ourselves. We haven't had a treat and gone out for dinner or lunch for a little while now. So um, yeah, we'll take you to dinner with us. We have ourselves here a big banana. We think that somebody uh, has come and painted a banana on what used to be a big blow up condom. Um, and <laughs> Daniel has noticed the knobbly bit and everything on top. 
Lookout. This is Lambert's lookout. Apparently the council here spent a lot of money on this lookout. <laughs> they could move across. <laughs> they could. That's no. fine. <laughs> no, it's good. Nice. Natural. Yeah, it's good. Anyway, nice uh, bit of a sunset happening. Yeah. Aria had a nap in the truck on the way over here. Yeah. And we're going to go out for dinner afterwards because we've got our truck back. Oh, yeah. You said that. <laughs> <laughs> um, and... Oh, I was going to say something. I lost my train of thought. Oh yeah, they say this is a really good um, whale watching spot. Oh yeah. So if you're sense. in whale watching season, this is the spot to come and have a look. I don't think we're in the season. Or if you like looking at cargo ships, there's a hell of a lot on the oh, horizon. Yeah, there's two. Wow. <laughs> Go there and have a look. See ya. You ready? Cheers. Um, it looks like pub food, but on the water, so and, and pub prices. So. Like nice we'll see. Because if everything's hot, anyways, we need to wait for it to cool down. We do cocktails, but uh, they had this little thing on the table staring me in the face. <laughs> yeah, it's called a dark and limey, and it's dark rum bitters, uh, lemon lime bitters and lime juice and it's pretty delicious i have to say twelve dollars it's all right this is extremely high praise the chicken tenders that aria got as her kids meal are as good as if not better than kfc chicken <laughs> and that is a really high bar to cross so good job We are finally leaving Mackay after a much extended trip of almost an extra week. Um, we are on our way out of here. Uh, we are off to Finch Hatton area to ch hopefully check out the gorge and the platypus and all that sort of stuff. Um, we're hoping to stay at the one of the campgrounds there. It's first in best dress so we'll see if we can get a spot. We'll take you with you obviously and we'll let you know how we go um, and what we get up to.